everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and that you're all really, really well. Today I am talking about Lush and in particular my Lush skincare routine. Now I don't always use all Lush but every now and then I like to do that. I like to just use completely Lush products for my skincare. Why I like to do that is because these products are so natural and I absolutely adore that, especially for skincare. I like to be able to pick up a product and I can read the ingredients and I know exactly what these products are and that makes me feel really good because I know what I'm putting on my skin and sometimes I pick up products and they've got like chemicals and these long words and it kind of worries me a little what I'm actually putting on my skin. But when you go to Lush, you know that everything you are using is 100% natural and is all good and is all safe and is only going to do good things, which I absolutely love. So to start off with, I like to use the Ultra Bland Facial Cleanser to get rid of my makeup. Now this is incredible, I have heard rumours that a lot of the girls on the West End and in musicals like to use this to get rid of their makeup, I don't know if that's true but they should if they don't because it is amazing. It's like a balm so it's very similar in like consistency to like the Pixie Cleansing Balm and um, it smells really natural and just so gentle. This is a brand new pot because I get through so so much. I don't know if you can see this but it's literally like a balm and then when you smear it on it's literally that's it. Oh, it smells so good. So you literally melt it, pop it on your face and then you can wipe it off with a hot cloth or a face flannel or whatever you desire and it gets rid of all your makeup and it is so so gentle. It is absolutely brilliant. It says, um, ultra effective, ultra gentle face cleanser, a rich, soft, oily cleansing cream that cares for gently for all skin types. So a lot of Lush products are tailored towards a particular type of skin type or a particular issue you might be having, but this one is good to use for anybody, which is great. Um, so I highly recommend that. You can use it as a makeup remover or as a first cleanse or a morning cleanse or whatever you desire really. I particularly like it as a makeup remover or a, a first cleanse. After I've got rid of all my makeup, I then go on to my second cleanse, unless I'm being lazy and then I won't. But if I do, the one I adore at the moment anyway is Let the Good Times Roll, which is this one. So the Lush cleansers are particularly amazing because the products are so fresh that they actually only last for around two months, which yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but if you're using it every day, it doesn't matter because you'll get through the product. But it is so good that they're that those ingredients are that fresh, that's just incredible. This one has had a bit of use, as you can see, contains lots of popcorn and it smells so good. It smells like buttery and sweet and it's just amazing. It leaves your skin's feeling so, so good. It says, a classic scrub story for your skin, starring exfoliating polenta, hydrating corn oil, and plenty of popcorn. Now, if I'm going to put anything on my face, I am quite happy to put popcorn on my face. I absolutely love it, and oh, it smells so good. So really go check this one out. If you go into store as well, um, any of the staff in Lush will be willing to help you out, and they will literally tell you which products are perfect for your skin type and what you should be using, which is absolutely amazing from a store. And you know you don't always get that kind of help so if you want to go find some products that are perfect for you I highly recommend popping in store and having a little word with them. So after I've done my cleanse I then either do a scrub or a face mask and um, I don't do both at the same time and I'll probably only do one or the other and sometimes I don't do either but if I'm going to I, my scrubber choice at the minute is Smuggler's Soul. So this is a Father's Day product from last year. I do believe it is coming back this year if you want to try it out, so don't worry, it will be here soon. What I love about this scrub, you can see it's had a lot of use, is it's super fine. The exfoliating particles aren't like harsh. Um, let's do another one that is really nice. It smells amazing, but it's got sea salt in it and I find that a little bit like harsh on my skin because I've got quite a sensitive skin where the particles in this are so small, they're like sand, and I just, I really like that texture, I love that kind of exfoliating feeling. The smell is a little more manly, but that is because it's a Father's Day product, obviously, but it's not overpowering at all, so you don't really notice the scent, so I quite like the scent anyway, so you might, but you should really check it out this Father's Day, don't think, oh, it's a Father's Day product, I shouldn't be using it. You should, go try it, it's amazing. Now, if I'm going to do a face mask, 
I use this one. This is my like ultimate favourite Lush face mask. It is the Cupcake Face Mask. I have been using this since I was about 14 and I fell in love with Lush. It was one of the first products that I ever use and I still use it today. I absolutely adore it. Now the Lush face masks are quite interesting because in store they're kept on ice and when you get them home you have to keep them in your fridge. So that's how fresh they are and they only last for like two weeks I think it is. But they are so so good. This is like a dark chocolate brown. It smells like chocolate cupcakes. It smells amazing. This is particularly designed for like oily teenage skin which is why I've used it when I was younger. But my skin still is oily and it is still teenager-esque and I get spots. It just isn't very good at all. So I still absolutely love this one. But like the cleansers, Lush have face masks tailored to pretty much every type of skin type and every type of problem you could ever need. So pop in, have a word of them and find one that is perfect for you. If not, just try this one because it's so good. So after I've done my cleanse and my treat, I then go for a tone. So this is my toner of choice. It's the Tea Tree Water. It's had quite a lot of usage as you can see. Now these are super cool. I don't know if this will pick up on camera but they're like a, a fine mist. I don't think that'll pick up at all. Um, they're really refreshing. So in the summer I just actually like to spritz my face as a little bit of a hydration thing. Um, it has tea tree in this one obviously which is great for my oily skin and it just smells so good and they're so handy you can just pop them in your bag and take them anywhere with you. So after I've done my tone in my skincare routine I then go on to a serum if I'm feeling a little bit like treating myself. Now Lush only do one serum at the moment. I really, really keep my fingers crossed that they might bring out a few more because they are fabulous. So they come in like a solid format, which is really handy for traveling. Um, all you do is like melt it in between your hands like this, and then you can like massage it onto your skin, the oils. This one is called Fuller Grace and it smells so beautiful it's got lavender in there so it is perfect for nighttime when you're doing your skincare routine because it's really relaxing and it also helps to like chill you out before you go to bed as well as looking after your skin so this is really beautiful and i really recommend trying this one out now if my spots are really giving me a little bit of grief which they do a lot the one thing that i love that lush do is this this is the grease lightning spot treatment now this has been a lifesaver for me for so so many years, it's in a gel format so you can just dab it onto your spots and it says strikes the spot with lightning precision, dab on this super effective tea tree and witch hazel gel to zap zits before they show themselves. Now you know when you get that like first little niggling thing, if you pop it on it reduces the redness and it dries them up really really well. It is amazing and I could not live without this product. So. If your skin isn't great and you do suffer with spots and things go check this out it is really really good and it does really help like not often do i find a spot treatment product that says it works without me feeling like i'm sticking god knows what kind of chemical on there and it's smelling and it just i just really worry what i'm actually putting on where everything in this is natural so you know that it is just good stuff it is literally good stuff in a bottle which Oh, is amazing. If you can't tell, I am so passionate about Lush products. They just make me so excited because they're so good. Like, it isn't often that you find a product that is full of this much goodness and putting that on your face is just amazing. It makes you feel so, so luxurious and oh, I just love it. Um, so anyway, getting a bit sidetracked. Carrying on with my routine after I've done all my treatments and had a little bit of a pamper, I then like to put my moisturiser on before I go to bed. So the one that I am loving, at the moment anyway, is the Skin Drink Facial Moisturiser. So this is particularly for dry skin types. I know I've mentioned a lot in this video that I have oily skin, which I do, but lately, mainly because of the winter weather, I think I've been getting quite dry skin, particularly across my cheeks and around my nose. So this is like hydration in a tub. It says, if your skin could reach out and grab a drink, this would be the one it would go for. With sesame seed oil designed to leave a subtle protective layer on the face without it feeling greasy. So this is what it looks like. There you go. It doesn't smell great, I'm not going to lie. Well, I don't particularly rate it. Some of Lush's face, like, um, face moisturisers smell so, so good. But this one just smells a bit, I think it's the sesame seed in it. I just not not sure and it looks a bit like mustard but it works and it makes my skin feel so soft and subtle and 
oh, I just love it and it really isn't greasy or heavy either which is amazing so really go try this one out especially if you're suffering from dry skin at the moment and to finish off my skincare routine to give myself a little bit of a treat before I go to bed I love putting on a lip balm I just find it really like luxurious and I feel like I'm treating myself and um, so the one that I like at the moment this is the egg snog lip balm this is actually from their Christmas range um, that they had online in the kitchen I managed to pick one up but they do do lots of other lip balms and they do do a few seasonal limited edition ones as well this one I love because it smells like Christmas in a tin and I love all things Christmas. So it's really good. They've got so many butters and oils in their lip balms that it is super hydrating for your lips and they feel so so nourished. So really go check them out as well. They're not too expensive as well which I really like. So that is my skincare routine, um, all to do with Lush. I hope you've enjoyed it. I do love talking about Lush, so make sure you give me a little thumbs up if you have enjoyed. If you would like to see some more Lush videos, make sure you comment below and let me know if there's anything in particular you would like to see. Also, while you're down there, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you can keep up to date with all my other videos that I'm doing. But I hope to see you all soon. And for now, bye!